That's enough. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good night. Good afternoon and welcome. As father of the bride, it appears that I get to have the first speech. I've been given lots of advice on what to or what not to say and to keep it short, etc. However, it is about 30 years since I was allowed to say anything without being disagreed with, laughed at, or ignored. So this is too good an opportunity for me to miss. <laughs> I'd like to start by saying that on behalf of the bride's mother, Diane, myself, and the groom's parents, Kath and Jerry, by giving a warm welcome to all the relatives and friends that have joined us to celebrate Samantha and Tim's wedding. I know that some of you have travelled long distances to be here, which we sincerely appreciate. As I look around the room, I realise how many friends Samantha and Tim have. And we all hope you have a wonderful evening tonight. I must admit that I'm the proudest dad in the world to accompany Samantha today. I'm sure you will agree with me that she looked absolutely stunning. Yeah. Aww. Well, I am also proud of how great she looked, how she has grown up, and how pleased we are. She has found someone who she obviously loves and cares for. That's page one. <laughs> In Tim, I believe that Samantha has met her perfect partner. Diane and I think he is everything one could vote for in the son in law. Welcome oh. to family, Tim. In addition to that, <laughs> we'd like to wish Samantha and Tim that they enjoy their evening and their special day and with all their hopes and dreams come true for the future. So my long speech is now coming to an end. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to trust, to toast the happy couple. Could you please be upstanding okay. and raise your glasses to Samantha and Tim Nicholson. To Samantha, Samantha and Tim, Tim. Tim. 